Hey, alright, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Python tutorial where we're taking a look at Hashlib, and in this video we still actually aren't going to be hashing any information. I just kind of want to get this little uh, little quirk, this little variable out of the way first, so we can go ahead and quickly move on to uh, what it is we're going to be working with really inside this library, this module, and for the whole rest of the video series. But from Hashlib, what we can do is check out the algorithms, and this is actually a variable that holds a tuple of all the possible at least guaranteed possible uh, functions and algorithms of cryptography and hashing anyway that we can actually use inside this library. So there is of course MD5, SHA1, SHA224, SHA256, SHA384, SHA512, yada yada yada. So these are all the things that we can are actually guaranteed to be able to use. And if we actually use our dot selector here, and we actually use control space and idle to actually see some auto completion, we can obviously see that MD5, SHA1, and all these things are already in here. But there is one really neat quirk too as well, because we actually have a function here called new, I'm sure you guys saw that, that will allow us to actually type in as a string the name of the algorithm that we're going to be working with. And even if it's not a guaranteed algorithm, like in this, this string of, or this tuple of strings anyway here, we can actually supply an algorithm that our installation of Python and its cooperation with OpenSSL, which I think is like the secured sharing library or something, it's like this complete dictionary and library and module of all these algorithms and possible things for securing and cryptography and yada yada yada. But anyway, you do have more accessibility with some of the algorithms than that's guaranteed right here with the algorithms variable or tuple or whatever you like to call it. But I wanted to get this out of the way so you guys knew what this was. Uh, you weren't freaking out when you saw that in the list of operations or things you could do with this library. So there it is, quick and easy. All it is is a tuple of some of the guaranteed algorithms that you can work with with Hashlib. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm done with this one. That was pretty quick and easy. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, and we'll actually start to hash some stuff. Adios.